You're gonna learn how to support your girls today. Tatas. <laughs> girls. <laughs> Sisters, not twins, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> today, we're gonna be talking about the best ever. The best ever. The best ever ways to take care of your boobs. So since it's Breast Cancer Awareness Week, we decided to talk about boobs, which, um, you know, a lot of the population has them. So my boobs are pretty much non-existent. In my opinion, they're not really there. As some of you have noticed <laughs> rudely in the comments below, <laughs> your girl is preggers, right? And so my boobs have changed dramatically. They're not the same boobs. I once knew <laughs> these new uh, areoles on fleek boobs <laughs> are totally uh, new to me, foreign. And uh, so now I'm having to learn how to take care of pregnant boobs and not regular girl boobs. A couple months ago, I was in the gym. I was in one of those high intensity interval training classes and I was in one of those studios with mirrors everywhere, which first of all, not a good look if I'm just sweating everywhere. But I looked in the mirror as I was sprinting and I saw my boobs literally just like flying. I think one of the best ever ways to take care of your boobs <laughs> when they're small is just to accept the fact that they are small. Um, always remember just because they are not um, as large or pendulant as your sisters around the world, uh, you still have to check them out and make sure you aren't feeling any lumps. Um, and you have to do that every month. You gotta take care of yourself. So um, I wear very small little things like this. Super cute little racerbacks and teabag type deals. On top of that, I will put on a camisole. This one's inside out, but whatever. We family. So, you know, keep it lacy. It's not super sexy at all, but whatevs. For just like regular t-shirts or terry tops and stuff like that, I'll just wear like a regular tank. A little sporty deal right here. Since my breasts are so small, um, I haven't really had any need for support like a lot of my very blessed sisters. Um, so with that, I still have kind of this weird insecurity with my breasts. So I don't really wear white shirts because I'm like, I don't want you to see my nipples. And even if I do wear a white shirt, I will always wear a bra and then I'll put a tank top on top of it because that's just, how I roll, you know. They're small, but I don't want you to see the milk duds, you know what I'm saying? So I bought my bra from Ross because I don't like spending a lot of money on bras or lingerie because I feel like I'm not working with that much. So <laughs> I got $3, you know. I might as well just go to Ross and get it over with. I got my tank top from, I think, a friend. I just, I never gave, like the camisole one, I never gave it back to her. <laughs> My bad. This other one, the tank top that I wear underneath t-shirts, I got that from The Gap because The Gap has, in my opinion, some of the softest cotton tank tops ever. And I absolutely love them. And they're pretty cheap. This sports bra is from Victoria's Secret. Unfortunately, I think their biggest size is a 36 triple D. Uh, I know a lot of you who need this tip have bigger boobs than that. You got this top layer and this bottom layer with the underwire. So then when you're running, it's like it's like when you when you do that trick where you put two sports bras on to hold your boobs in, except it's all in one bra. These do go on sale at Victoria's Secret every couple months, so I would wait for the sale. So another thing I like about this is the straps are really th pretty thick and soft and stretchy, so they're not digging into your uh, shoulders. They do dig a little bit just because boobs are heavy, man. To wash this, I put it in one of those uh, delicates bags, like the mesh bags, and I wash it on a gentle cycle and then I air dry it because this was expensive and I don't want it to go in the dryer because it'll just wear out the elastic and the stretchiness. It's cute. They come in a lot of different colors and patterns. So 
Um, you can probably find one to go with any uh, workout outfit that you might need. This is one of my favorite things to wear. I've had to find 30 million new different bras to try to figure out my new size because my boobs have like grown ginormously. And with growth comes a little stretching of the skin, a little dryness, a little irritation. I love the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Soothing Body Lotion with oats, aloe, and vitamin E for severely dry skin. When you get pregnant, your boobs are gonna explode. So, but I've been using this because my boobs have stretched, uh, everything has stretched. I put it on, I just like rub it all over my boobs, get them very moisturized after I get out of the shower. And this lotion is so good, I literally can put it on one day and it'll be on my boobs. My boobs feel moisturized and soft and supple for a smooth two and a half days, like without reapplying. This smells like the uh, rest of the African black soap line. It has a very sweet but light smell, a light scent to it. And it's got oats and aloe and vitamin E, which makes me feel like those are very skin soothing, nourishing, like soft ingredients that help protect your skin, that help moisturize your skin. And honestly, this is a really thick lotion. I've had other lotions where like you flip the bottle over and you're like, oh my God, everything's coming out of it because it's just water and like a little bit of dimethicone. But this has water and shea butter as a second ingredient. So it's a very thick lotion. And I think that's why it lasts. It lasts for a very long time. I love the scent of it. It's not too strong. So if you want to like layer your perfume over it, you won't be competing. There's no clashing scents or whatever. I really, really like it. It's so good. Thanks so much for watching. In the comments below, let me know what you do to take care of your boobs. If you have pregnant boobs, really tell me what's going on with your boobs, girl, cause <laughs> new to this, ain't true to this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we make these videos every week. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.